This is my mouth. This is my face. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're in Noble, Oklahoma. Yes, Noble, Oklahoma. So I've actually been trying to get to this place for years now. In fact, it's been over two years in the making. We're outside Kendall's, the legendary Kendall's restaurant. A restaurant known for their southern country cooking and specifically their chicken fried steaks. And they have their famous chicken fried steak challenge. It's what we're doing today. So it is called, the, if I'm not mistaken, chicken fry challenge. Um, I know it consists of three different chicken fried steaks. There is some side dishes. There is uh, some cinnamon buns. I'm gonna get you the exact details here momentarily. That being said, I know it's also a one hour time limit, uh, but it sounds really good. I've literally actually been trying to do this for two years, um, but they're only open from Wednesday until Saturday, shorter hours, etc., etc. So I'm so excited to actually get here. This place has been here for 30 some years. They've had the challenge for over 20 years. Um, so it has been, like I said, a very, 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 very long-standing challenge. There have been thousands, thousands, thousands of attempts. Um, they have said just like countless, uh, countless, countless, and there's been 70, I think six winners. So if we win today, it will be 77. So with that, let's head in, let's have fun, let's eat some food. Um, I guess I'll give the exact details, but uh, so cool to be back in Oklahoma. I've been trying to get here for a long, long, long time. I don't know if you guys can tell, my voice is quite strained. I have a bit of a, bit of a cold slash sickness, whatever. So I'm gonna do my best. Can't promise anything, but hopefully we'll get that finish. I uh, get that free meal. I think it's a t-shirt as well. So let's head on in, let's eat some food. Hey everyone, real quick, I wanna thank sponsor today's video being Cook Unity. So Cook Unity is the first chef to consumer platform delivering freshly prepared meals pre-selected by you, your choices and your preferences directly to your door. So Cook Unity connects you with a group of diverse talented chefs weekly with innovative fresh meals prepared in a regional kitchen. And that's a micro kitchen, not some big warehouse facility. The chefs cook meals with real ingredients, nothing artificial using humanely raised meat products or organic ingredients when possible. They offer a wide variety of different meals with seven different dietary preferences, including vegan, paleo, gluten-free options. The meals are delivered fully cooked, so all you have to do is heat them up, no more cleanup and meal planning. The subscription is super flexible and you can pause, skip weeks or cancel at any time. What I really like is they have low calorie options. There's a variety of different items, whether I want beef or fish, and I feel like I'm eating real food. It's healthy, it's light, nice and light. So some of the meals I got included the Aleppo Lemon Cod, by Dustin Taylor, which was made in Los Angeles. I also got the grilled chicken with a thyme carrot puree by Chef Andre Mendez, cooked and made in Los Angeles, California. And then I got Chef John DeLucy's Bear Monday with lemon and salsa verde, also cooked in Los Angeles, California. So go to cookunity.com forward slash Hanson or click the link down below and use the code Hanson50 to save 50% off your first order of Cook Unity meals and try them for yourself. Hi everyone, so here we are with the chicken fry challenge. So it looks really good. Um, so again, we have, as per the menu, we do have one hour to eat the three one pound chicken fry steaks. They're covered in their uh, country gravy. It's a very Southern thing. I do really, really enjoy it, I will say. It's nice and rich. We then have the double order of mashed potatoes, the double order of green beans. We have a biscuit. We have two of their homemade famous cinnamon buns here. And then we have a side salad. Healthy. We gotta get the healthy vegetables in. $45 if we do fail, and if we win, we get the uh, meal for free and a sweet t-shirt. And if we lose, uh, we actually get a cup, a quitter's cup. So that's that's nice to them. They, they you know they reward you kind of either way. Um, pretty much that's about that. Um, the lady did say to me, and I quote, she said, Are you gonna beat the record? And I said, Well, what's that? And I think she's kind of nudges me and she wants me to try to maybe beat this record. Set by our good friend Mr. Randy Santel. Apparently about was it 14 minutes? 14 minutes, 27 seconds. So no guarantees, but we'll see what we can do. I will say, I do love chicken fried steaks. I do love this Southern cuisine. And it's been a long time coming that we finally get to the legendary Kendall's right here. So at that, uh, I am ready, I think to get started. I have a knife. I actually, oh wait here, we got a, we got a fork as well. I have some napkins over here, which I think will be needed. We will say at the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat.
Gotta eat your vegetables, kids. And I'm just using my hands because why not? Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are here at Kendall's. Yes, Kendall's guys finally made it. And like literally, this has been so long in the making. You don't know how many times, well, I specifically do. It was two or three other times. I've been right by uh, Oklahoma City, right by Noble, Oklahoma, and have wanted to do this challenge, but because of their hours and just schedule, it did not work out. So finally here to be doing it. Very good croutons. Good these chicken fried steaks. Oh yeah. Ooh, just rip apart. Tender. Mmm. Mmm. Well worth the two two years of waiting. Thank you. I really enjoy chicken fried steaks, and they're an item which I definitely did not grow up with. I never saw in the north, I was not familiar with, and it wasn't until I got to the south I really got to sink my teeth into. It's been a long time since I had chicken fried steak. So although I believe I kind of explained what a chicken fried steak is, I will explain it uh, just in a little more in depth. So a chicken fried steak is very similar to what some people might consider like a fried pork chop or some other deep fried variant of meat. Basically it is a steak which is malted out and or tenderized, battered and deep fried. Very good. Mm. Nice and rich though with all that gravy, I'll say that much. Great batter. So of course you have flavors coming from the actual beef itself. You then have the flavors from the batter or the breading, which the breading is definitely, if this makes sense, slightly more of like a clumpy breading. It's not a super smooth uh, kind of like, you know, crust it's more of a little bit of a clumpy breading which it's supposed to be and it just kind of adds texture just some nice flavor generally the spices are quite light you know you'd have some salt pepper maybe some garlic powder you know pretty basic uh, batter seasoning super tender steak though and then typically it's also served with a country gravy or a sausage gravy, whatever you want to call it, which is the white sauce all over it. And that essentially is pretty much like a bechamel sauce uh, in a lot of cuisines. I mean, let's be honest, it's basically flour and a fat of some sort, you know, whether it be lard, sausage drippings, pepper, etc. Also kept the heat really well. So I was enjoying the flavors on this chicken fried steak for sure, and they're definitely known for their chicken fried or their fried steaks. Uh, the sausage gravy was a little thinner than a lot that I have seen, but it definitely uh, was still really nice. It was uh, kind of more of just kind of call like a standard country gravy. I don't think it was a sausage gravy. And if it was, you know, there wasn't strong notes of pepper, uh, like peppercorns. There wasn't strong notes of um, sausage. It was kind of just a uh, pleasant, you know, white sauce or country gravy, I guess they call it. And then, of course, uh, we had the country gravy not only on just the steaks, but on the mashed potatoes as well. They were very well covered in it. So I think we're a bit over maybe three and a half in Zoom. Really enjoying chicken fried steaks. I do have some hot sauces and Worcestershire sauce here. Apparently those are uh, quite popular additions to the steaks, so maybe I'll try with some hot sauce here in a sec. Besides that, they really are known for their famous cinnamon rolls. Um, like they are actually, that's kind of it. You look up the place and it's like chicken fried steaks and cinnamon rolls. And the cool thing about this challenge is you get both in it. So I think it's super cool. We also got a biscuit, we got green beans, we have all the Southern classics. You really cannot get more Southern, you know, American like food than this like southern united states this is foods of the south and i love the foods of the south so at that everybody it's pretty much the majority of the info again we're in the quest for a free meal we're in the quest for a t-shirt uh, we did not have to call in advance we just had to show up to try the challenge and uh, they've had thousands of attempts very very few winners i will add and it is saucy of course i also had my iced tea or my sweet tea with it that is one of my favorite drinks of all time let me know in a comment down below what you like to drink at a restaurant maybe it's coca-cola maybe it's pepsi maybe it's water maybe it's coffee maybe it's beer i don't know 
comment down below what you like to drink at a restaurant and at that let's ultimately tune on in and see if we can become one of the few winners to beat this challenge trying to get this hot sauce open, having technical difficulties with my sausage or what, you know, country gravy covered hands. Try some hot sauce. Mmm. That's a good combo. That's a little bit of acidity to the heavy richness of that uh, country gravy. Chicken fried steaks are done. About eight minutes or so. Very, very delicious. I like the addition of the hot sauce. I've never had that before. Let me know what you like on your chicken fried steaks down below. If you've ever had one. It wasn't until I got to the southern United States that I had one. But man, they're good. Whoever thought of battering and, excuse me, comments to the chef. A steak. They're deep frying it. Excuse me. They're smart. Smart person. Get some green beans. Nice green bean. Nice and briny. Give them that with some pork or something. Very good, let's try these mashed potatoes. Not bad, garlic. And definitely lots more of that country gravy. Definitely rich. I'm gonna say, pretty dang good. On to now our biscuit and our famous cinnamon buns. Flaky biscuit. The croutons here are really good too. All right, let's try these famous, famous cinnamon buns. They're actually really well known for these. And they're very ooey and gooey. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. That is impressive. I don't know what's in it. I don't know if I want to know, but it is damn good. What's the secret? 
crack. There you go. That's what I thought, but. Yeah, we're it's about 12 minutes right now. I'm going to go soon, but we go. They weren't lying. And we are finished. So I think the uh, final time is it was about 12, I want to say 25, maybe something like that. Guys, that was so, so, so good. I really do think I could, I would be tempted to eat that again. That was delicious. And I mean like right now, that's how good that was. So I gotta say, the chicken rice steaks were great. Uh, definitely a very nicely done tender steak. The batter was delicious, nice and crisp. That uh, gravy gave a lot of that nice moisture, great flavor to it. Good, uh, good call with the addition of the hot sauce. I like that as well. I gotta say, these freaking cinnamon buns. Wow, what a great way to finish off. I love that the challenge actually comes with dessert basically. Um, so for that, we do get the $45 meal for free, which is pretty cool. And um, I guess we did get a new record nonetheless. Um, and that's about that. That was absolutely delicious. Like I said, this has been two years, a legitimate two years I've been trying to get here. So I'm glad I finally was able to make it. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I still have the paper. They had a Wednesday special, and they actually even offered like some kind of all-you-can-eat on the Wednesday special. So that's pretty cool. They had catfish and all kinds of stuff. Who knows? Who knows, maybe I'll have to try a couple other items here. This was dang good. Um, but with that, guys, I got no complaints. So I think we also got a free t-shirt. And that's about that. So until next time, huge thanks to all the staff. They've been super, super friendly. Some great Oklahoma hospitality. And uh, that's about that. So I've already settled this. So until next time, of course, stay happy about the hunger, happy eating. Definitely got to go, you know, wash my sticky country gravy hands up. And with that, have a good day. Dinner and a show, right? So, thanks, everybody. Thank you, thank you. Sure. Yeah, those cinnamon buns are dang good. I think it was good. Sorry, did you want me? Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.